Right, let's continue with more Final Fantasy XIV. Um, we cannot teleport, so we'll need to find a... Um, <clears throat> there are a lot of quests here that... Um, I don't know if I want to take time to do them. <sighs> there are just so many quests. Uh, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get to the to progress the main story as much as we possibly can. Maybe at some point we'll return and do some of these side quests. I know they are necessary for us to level up. But since the game has uh, taken quite a while to to get going, I'm going to skip them for now. Let's let's just head back. There are so many quests that need our attention in the in the central in central Gudania. Not in the central shroud, but uh, we really need to keep moving. back, Deft. A little bird tells me that the hero and his party owe you their lives. I tell for the tavern if there ever were one. It is only a shame that I, I must ask you not to tell it, for the time being at least. Do I make myself clear? Until the heroes have made their will on the matter known, it would be best to avoid unsettling people with stories of working statues. Now then, you must have suitable recompense for, for your valiant service. For the first half of your reward, I give you leave to make use of the accommodations here at the guild. Arrangements have been made, so all you need to do is speak with uh, Antonad whenever you crave the comfort of a firm bed and a soft pillow. For the second half of your reward, I offer you another path to fame and fortune, guild leaves. Guild leaves, actually. Guild leaves are records of the various requests we receive from the citizenry. They outline all manner of tasks which ambitious young adventurers like you can elect to undertake. Gontran is our guild level official, or Leavement, here at the Carline Canopy. I have spoken to him regarding your knack for solving challenging problems, and he is eager to make your acquaintance. By the way, have you, have you perchance heard about the coming festival? It is truly a splendid occasion. Look for it too by young and old alike, and one I, ha I heartily recommend that you take the time to enjoy. Don't be too disappointed if the recent troubles cast a shadow over proceedings. However, I fear nothing short of the mysterious interlopers' apprehension can prevent that. But we are talking about you. You have made Mother proud. I expect great things of you, young lady. So we're going to receive... Uh... I'll take this. <laughs> uh, you now have access to recommendations. This feature displays a list of quests or duties currently available in your area. The recommendations list can be opened from under duty in the main menu, and will also be displayed automatically when you log in. If you find yourself unsure what to do next, this tool makes it simple to locate activities suitable to your present class and level. leveled up. We're now level 11. So, this is the leavement. 
And this is the innkeep who allows us to take a nap. What can we do for you this morning? Let me retire to a room in. It's an actual, actual room. We have a toy chest. Okay, we can start, let's see the armory. Sit situated in your in-room or estate, the armory can be used to store certain kinds of items with limited methods of obtainment. These include job-specific gear, seasonal event garb, and so forth. Please note that only items with condition at 100% or above can be stored. Furthermore, storing an item will reset its spirit bond and condition as well as remove customized elements such as dyes and crests. That's very unfortunate. What's the unending journey? At the bannock, you learn that the okay, oh so this this tells you basically. It basically tells you. Alright, let's read it a little bit. to do that. We just went back again. Okay, so what I wanted to do was read, uh, at the Bannock, you learned that Exali activity has been steadily increasing since the appearance of an as yet known individual in the Tallswood. Suspecting a connection, Galford bids you investigate Lifeman's Stump to the northeast. Arriving at Lifeman's Stump, you are met with baffling sight. A sword has been thrust into the stump and an Exal lies dead nearby. The mystery does not end there. Who were those two strange characters, and what was the scene that unfolded inside your mind's eye? The sword may well be a clue. You have removed the sword from a life man's stump. Take it back to the... Oh yeah, we, we did this. Yep, we also did that. So this, I guess, just chronicles uh, our journey. So, oh, so you, you can either log out or do nothing. So when you log out, Next time you log back in, we'll, you will have uh, like an experience bonus. We're not going to be resting today. We, we have uh, quite a bit of catching up to do, so we'll just keep moving. Okay, so. That's the innkeeper, and this is the leave net. Okay, we'll talk to him later. First, let's talk to Miona and see her to mother. Okay, impressed by your progress, Miona wishes to send you on onto Bent Brunch Meadows, where you will find further opportunities to learn. How is my favorite fresh faced fresh faced adventurer? Oh, do not scowl so, I speak out of habit. You've come a long way since you first walked through my door, and I'll not deny it. As a matter of fact, I think it's about time you made yourself useful at the Brent Branch Meadows in the Central Shroud. Unlike the recruits you see at the Bannock, the men and women out at Brent Branch are fully occupied with their own work. As such, I, as such, I imagine there are more than a few who would welcome the assistance of a rapidly maturing adventure like yourself. Bent Branch is also home to a very useful situated etherite. It is, in other words, the perfect place for you to begin the next stage of your journey as an adventurer. And what better time than the present? Leave the city via the Blue Badger Gate and continue to the southwest until you come to a bridge. Cross it and when you spy an etherite in the distance, you may congratulate yourself on having successfully found Bent Branch Meadows. If you're so fancy, you may also make use of the Chocobo Porter service, doubtless the safest way to get to your destination. <clears throat> Chocobo Keep Singer should not hesitate to lend his words to a capable adventurer like you. Oh, and be sure to introduce yourself to Keitha, the head Chocobo Wrangler, when you arrive. We already went to Bent Branch Meadows, though, so... <clears throat> Gontrant is responsible for assigning guild leaves at the Caroline Canopy and is offering to give you an introduction to the world of live quests. 
Madame Mione has told me much of your endeavors, Daft. Have you considered attempting one of the guild levs available here at the Adventurer's Guild? Guild levs are the means by which we document requests for assistance from the citizenry, prior to assigning them to adventurers possessed of the necessary skills. From battlecraft levs that require extermination of monsters to tradecraft levs that ask for the creation of goods, the tasks we term lev quests are many and varied in their nature. Should your interest be piqued, I suggest you make your way to Ben Punch Meadows and speak with Tierney. She'll be happy to set your feet on the path to completing your first leave quest. Uh, these people have quests they want me to do, but uh, I don't feel like doing them. The first thing I want to do is I, I want to head back to the... I want to head back to the Archer's Guild. I think we were supposed to check back in when we hit level 10. Also, I wanted to say, I realize we've been, we've, we missed, uh, we skipped like, um, oh. We skipped uh, a number of hours, like two hours, because there was just a lot of grinding and I, I didn't want you guys to have to see that. Actually, no, this is not what I wanted to do. This is not what I wanted to do. It's not what I wanted to do. So, how do we travel from this thing? I don't want to set it as home point. Let's head back to the Archer's Guild. Um, I think they might have some interesting things for us. Maybe they're going to teach us new abilities or something like that. I thought you could travel from Aetherite to Aetherite. And does this cost anything? Let's try to teleport. Oh. that we pissed off somebody. All right, so I'm trying to teleport. I think it costs money to teleport, right? Yes, it does. <clears throat> I don't want to pay my hard-earned cash, so let's just go. I thought you could teleport from right to right, but apparently not. Another free company invite? Not right now. Meanwhile, I forgot, uh, we need to check our character here. Let's equip our recommended gear. Now 
let me see what these Aetherite shards do. I think these are the ones that enable us to just travel. Yep. Yeah, they're the ones that enable us to just travel from place to place. Not the big Aetherite uh, things themselves. Apparently not yet. Let's see. Oh, here we go. School of Hard Knocks, level 10. We're level 11. Our guild master Lucian wishes you to learn how to see things from different perspectives. It pleases me to see how you've grown as an archer. Plainly, you have taken my counsel to heart and learned to see with your own eyes. I would now have you discover what it means to behold things from a different standpoint. You will recall Lee Ap Aliapo, one of your seniors at the guild. I have given you over her, over to her care for this lesson. Speak with her and do as she bids. been expecting you. Shall we get on with it then? First, a quick review. Remember how the Bowmaster had you seek out and destroy targets throughout the city? Well, I would have you do the same. This time, however, you will need to venture outside the gates. I'm sure you've realized this by now, but there is no guarantee of safety within the Twelveswood. As you search, you should take care to mind your surroundings. You won't have the luxury of focusing solely on your quarry this time. You'll have to keep your eyes peeled for potential threats as well. That said, your objective is to destroy the targets alone, so avoid unnecessary combat and maintain a safe distance from any hostile creatures you encounter. Should you come under attack, take, your, take to your heels, risking direct confrontation only if you can't outrun your pursuers. The targets are hidden in the central shroud. As before, use the heavy shot technique to destroy each one with a single arrow. Go well. save some time. I think we can go to this. Oh no. I thought the amphitheater was in uh, the central shroud. Apparently it's not. Apparently it's not. I also want to start looking into. I just want to start looking into, uh, perhaps, possibly. Crafting. I want to start looking into making better gear and weapons, armor, stuff like that. There's the first target. Two out of six done. I see a one in the distance there. Okay, I'll take you on. There's a fourth one here.
have one more. Oh, there it is. It's not gonna be too hard to find. Well, well, you made short work of those targets, I must say. It seems you've learned to seek your prey without being preyed upon. Let's continue then. I have a mind to give you more practical experience, and we've received a request just recently, which I think will provide the perfect opportunity. It seems tree slugs and vultures have been congregating in ever-increasing numbers in the vicinity of the Honey Yard, causing no end of trouble for the locals who have been tasked with culling the beasts. This request comes direct from Steel Blade Fane. When the wood whalers and the gods quiver cannot spare the forces to attend to such matters, the conjurers often turn to us for help. And before you ask, there's a good reason why they would rather not see this particular task themselves. The creatures in question possess abilities which can cause problems for the magically inclined. But that's quite enough about conjurers' troubles. Lucian taught you how to discern an enemy's key traits, did she not? No, she didn't actually. Well now, you'll need to do so while maintaining a situational awareness, lest you be overrun. Consider this as a comprehensive review of her lessons and my own. Your orders are as follows. Head out into the East Shroud and there put down 8 tree slugs and 8 vultures, using all of your skills as an archer. Good hunting. Well, Lucian was, is a horrible teacher, at least for my learning style. She was very vague. All she said is now watch them and observe and blah blah blah. She didn't really tell us what to do or how you figure out exactly a creature's weaknesses, so no. Okay, so where would the East Shroud be? I'm gonna take up here. Okay, let's see. Uh, I want. I think it's time to sell some of my stuff. We can only purchase? I'll need to figure out how to sell stuff.
don't think they're gonna let us through here. How does one get into the East Shroud? This is the Lancer's Guild. Talk to this. Uh, let me talk to this guy again. He says, or better yet, let's read the signs. They're written in a language I cannot speak. Let's see what he said. These gates remain closed until further notice. If you wish to venture outside the walls, you can ride the ferry from West Shore Pier, south of the Lances Guild. This is the Lancer's Guild, right? this damn thing. For such passage, lavender beds? My apologies for the, but this uh, ferry is out of service. Are you serious? So I guess we cannot we cannot go to the East Shroud yet. That's very unfortunate. Let's head to Ben French Meadows. You know, I keep confusing this for something else. set this on his home. So let's go to Ethernet. No. Let's talk to the Chocobo Keep. We were supposed to talk to him as well. Well met, Traveler. Am I interested in a Chocobo Porter? What's that? Uh, do not tell me. This is your first, first visit to this shop. I shall update my register with your name so that you may access this location in the future. I see porters. Chocobo porters and falcon porters are similar to rental chocobos in that they can be hired to carry you quickly to destinations throughout Eorzea. The difference being that you cannot control these birds and, they, and that they will not stop until they have arrived at their destination. On the other hand, porters are trained to take the safest route, meaning that while they will never meaning that they will never be attacked while in transit. Yeah, it doesn't sound very desirable right now. Yeah, that being said, we're half an hour in. Let's take a break. We'll be right back with more Elder Scrolls. No, actually, Final Fantasy XIV online. <laughs> 